Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Just looking at the town from a different point of view. Kind of a bird's eye view if you were sitting at the top of this tree right here. <laughs> yeah, beautiful game. Just noticing the, the cumulus clouds along the, the skyscape here. The sun's up there. And the smoke coming out of the occasional chimney. And apparently the wind's coming from this direction right now. We've rotated our our windmill around. A flurry of comments hit the uh, last episode, and thanks for all of those. Um, got, <clears throat> got paint in my hair and made the comment that, you know, your, your boats are falling apart. Yeah, I didn't I didn't notice that, so need to get uh, you employed someday. We're building a bunch of houses over here, so eventually we'll get more workers and that'll be fine. Got you up and running again, waiting for a second worker to show up down there. Um, nobody using the boats right now anyway, but if somebody does, we still have two available to get us by, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll do just fine there. Um, what else was talked about? Taxes are a big thing. A couple of folks wrote in to, to verify that all of the taxes that these guys face are monthly, even if it doesn't say so, which means I've been grossly overtaxing everybody. So the, thankfully, though, I, I play at a slow enough speed that I can, I can make a mistake, and not have five years go by. We're only four years into this. We've done quite a bit for four years, but only you know not not too much time has gone by so that I can, I can react to my errors and fix them in time. Got chickens coming in soon. You are there exporting flour, importing live chickens. So the chickens will be delivered directly to the chicken coop. It won't sit down there in the trader like in Banished and just sit there until they die if you don't have a chicken coop built. So they will be heading this way. And it was asked why setting a limit for 15 when there are 20 chickens coming. Normally I would probably set this maxed out and max you out and just take my time and patient, patiently wait for, you know... 30 chickens and 30 hatchlings to be in, in place and and then the eggs would start to go over and above the 30 and be sent into the market and they would start butchering after 30 and sending the, the chicken meat into the market. But I want to show that that much sooner. So eventually I'll move those up. Now when we get beyond the 30 limit then we can start allocating some of them as chickens or hatchlings to relocate to the next one rather than having to buy them again from the trader so we can move them around our different chicken coops if we want to so we'll have plenty of food in here 200 food 400 food and 500 water so plenty of cushion in there should something happen to our our worker um what else is going on i set up a whole wagon train circled our wagons here <laughs> of future stalls. I haven't employed any of them. That will happen gradually as these houses build. And I went through between episodes and got this whole neighborhood kind of laid out, put a well in there, pathway coming down. We may later go in with other houses to pop in behind this outer ring. I wanted to realign this one and found out that we had building materials in here. So it won't let me build the next one until those materials leave. And that's fine. And when they're done with this house, they will move on to the well. Click. There. The well in here. And then on to the next house over there. So all these materials will get shoved to an, another place soon. Field completed. Good. Our, our, our builders are still... Our foresters are still up there taking trees down. Um, I've already set to start emptying so they know to come get this when uh, when they can um so what else well we've got this guy that just went in i'm running slow intentionally i want to spend some time talking about taxes and try to figure that all out um i don't believe we got sunflower into any of these so wheat and hemp and potatoes and flax and flax no so you or what your wheat, okay, potatoes and wheat, and flax and potatoes, and then over here I was thinking about sunflower seeds, and what goes well with sunflower seeds? Sunflower uses up all of the red, 
So the only one that officially qualifies is buckwheat to follow that. Though once, I'm pretty sure once we get the plow going, a couple of oxen, as they plow before planting, there will be enough nutrients added back in to be able to handle at least these guys over here needing an extra 10%. So this will change once we get that you know, a little more advanced farming going on. But for now, let's just stick the one thing that does qualify in there, then call it fallow and activate and we're good. Okay, and look at the density of our crop this time. We got a lot of plants in there. We really did. Hardly any gaps at all. Very few weeds, just a few here and there. Yeah, this is a pretty good planting. So we're gonna get a lot of crop out of this. Um. What else is there to talk about? It was mentioned that I had forgotten to add numbers to these so they weren't bringing things in. So I, in between episodes, I kind of roam around. And as I'm watching my own, my own episode, as I'm editing it, I'll notice things that I didn't notice when I was busy talking and looking at the camera and thinking other thoughts like, what's going on down there? So then I get to watch it like you guys watch it and realize, oops, forgot that and then I can go back in and fix these like horse tack let's get oh 100 in there even though we'll probably never make that many but now who is this Orisia can head over there to the salary and grab the two which she's already reserved to go and get because I provided a place to put it cool all right so a child has been born great so I think I have caught up with all the miscellaneous between episodes. So we'll have two guys in here, yeah. So we're making flowers fast as we can now. So I also went through and realigned the fences around this area to make this look a little more even so he doesn't look crooked anymore. And realigned the school a little bit before they started building it to make sure that we have plenty of room for pathways along the sides and behind and yeah, I think that'll look fine. Um, <clears throat> realigned this area too. Kind of played with that. Kicked this in to the logging area a little bit rather than just made it match the existing fencing so that it kind of aimed a little bit more toward our main avenue coming in. Which I'm still debating whether it's going to be... Well, you guys are still cutting right up against this, aren't you? Whether there's going to be trees along the sides and a pathway down the middle, or there's gonna be trees down the middle and two roads going up and down, or just what, I'm not sure. So we'll figure that out as we get a little further into the game. Um, taxes. So I had always assumed, because this said monthly income, that this was the monthly part. This is, of course, how much the home has as a savings in, in, as a whole. And this is what is being taxed. And since it didn't say monthly, when this went to all the trouble to say monthly, this must not be monthly. That's the way I looked at it logically. I've been told by a couple of folks now that the land taxes, the treasure, the um, village house rent, the apartment rent, all of these are monthly uh, taxes that, that work against them. So we've got to think think seriously about that so essentially i've been i've been charging them a year's worth of taxes every month that's kind of what it comes down to so our family over here that was having trouble the zayets they have only got 37 cents left because we're taking all their savings every single month as land taxes so let's just use them as our example so they've got five dollars coming in they've got two jobs a smithy and a chicken coop and each job, can I cheat? I can go there. Each job is $2.50 a month in wages, monthly. So that's $5. So they've got that coming in every month. Coming out, they've got the land tax, the $0.30 cents for home rent. And if they were over 80 I think it's set, right there, they would then have a wealth tax. But they, they don't because they're, they're broke. So they have got... Uh, well, let's find out. If I were to take this down significantly to, we'll say, 50 cents, which I think is a little closer to where it was originally. When I was thinking this was annual, so, you know, they're going to accumulate five a month. That's 60, 60 a year. 
to add to this guy, so surely they could handle $5 a year in land taxes. Well, that's, now that it's monthly, I realize, no, that doesn't work. So now they're looking at needing to pay $1.45 and the 30 cents, so $1.75 out of their five every month. So now they've got the ability to save three and a quarter, yeah, every month. So three and a quarter left times 12 months, so about 40 a year is going to start accumulating as their wealth. So now they're going to be fine. That 40 a year will, of course, go into buying their needs here, and it may still not be enough. We're going to take our time and just kind of watch this. Fact. Let's just leave them as it is. They were almost at zero. This time they're not going to go negative because they're going to not owe near as much. Let's see how that accumulates over time, including what they need to buy, and see if they ever need financial help again. If they're fine, then I think everybody else will be fine. So they can build up, get a nice cushion, and then as they hit whatever we decide to be as the threshold, they'll start then paying it back into the town as a way of saying thank you for providing all of these wonderful services for us so that we have food to eat and we have we have clothes to, to buy and we have you know back then the king or the lord or the you know the duke or whoever would own this particular huge tract of land would be charging all of them so that he can afford to provide an army to protect the land and and all that needs to be done so taxing them taxing out of their wealth is not a a cruel thing we're talking the 1700s that's the way it worked back then so it's just a matter of figuring out the right balance to make it work um beyond that where are we going right now so did you you did hire okay you're on your way to work you're going to start working. You've already fixed this boat. Wow. Okay. We've got one guy in there. We've got one guy in there. It'd be nice to have two guys in there. All he's doing right now is making firewood. And we have plenty. So let's say thank you for fixing the boat. We've got another year at least out of those two. Let's, um, you know, goodbye. And hopefully you jump into this one after you've taken your, your one week rest. It takes them a while to walk up to their house and go sit on a bench and go buy some dried fish and go back to their house and, and then decide they want to uh, get another job. So eventually that'll fill in. Anyway, so with that, I think I can speed it back up again. I know we've got a harvest coming soon. How are we looking? Actually, we are in a growth. July. Do they not harvest in August? I thought they did. There's still another amount of time for ripening. I have to watch that. I wonder when the ripening actually begins. Does it... Let's see here. Uh, help. And... Seasonal. Don't know if that's there. Let's try here. Farm? Question mark. Does it give a hint on what months these things happen? I'm not seeing it. Rotation with up to six slots. All right, for for there to be a rotation of six, it would have to be that the plowing would add nutrients back in each time. There's no way you could pull the... Well, unless you included two cycles with a couple of fowls in between. Okay, I guess that would work. Three and another three all in the same run. Okay. That works for the six slots. Um, leaving a field fallow, you can hire workers. So no mention of exactly when that starts. Or I could just notice that it just clicked right in front of my face. So the last two weeks were starting to ripen. So how did we do then? We got that far. I think they worked on this field first. This field first. Not a lot of difference. Yeah. This one is the most difference between the two of them so with all that we did manage to get down here to help sew it sewing is a pretty fast thing I've noticed they fast as they can run they're, they're filling that in with seed so okay so we got three quarters of the way done 
that may have to do with how quickly we sowed it. It may have to do with the fact that it wasn't plowed. Maybe it grows faster if uh, in, in plowed fields. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll know soon. Hey, here's planted two years ago. So let's hire a worker and get that ripening. You aren't yet, but you're going to be soon. Well, we'll just have to remember to go back because I'm going to need all these spare workers, if we have any left, to work in the harvest. So there is that. I don't have a lot of, of spare workers at all, which is why we're, we're building this area right in here to get a bunch more uh, people into our town. And that's going to solve everything. That's a lot of new, new uh, citizens here. So we should be able to fill in pretty much every job with those with that group of houses without a problem. And then as we start adding more buildings from our building queue, then we'll start to tax that again. But that is a gob of new people over here. So that's why we want a full market. It was brought up to bring in a couple more of these guys too, small granaries, so that these market stalls don't have to walk so far to go and fill their markets and that makes sense but what i don't know i know that in the small granary we have the take from other granaries i've never had the chance to see that in action so what i don't know is whether or not this granary down here is going to go steal all 977 peas i guess i could kind of force it by saying only 500 in each but I don't know. Will will you steal all the peas and then and then they'll come back and take them all back and we'll just keep, you know, or will they automatically take half of what the other one has? So we'll have to see just how that works. But it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to stick a small granary. Well, we'll wait on that one. I mean, I could put it in the list just to get it there, but these things are so tiny already. So I'll wait on that one. For now, we can just make them do the long walk and it won't be as efficient but it'll work for for an episode or two until we kind of clear this out so what is next we're just building houses right now and you are basically done there you go so we will have a family move in and yes this is the list of what you need to have a family move in everything is in the green that's just something i just blurred past it never even read it so didn't even know that was there anyway um, what is happening? You guys are grabbing wood to build this guy, and I assume you're going to pick up all of these here real soon. There you go. Got some nails for here, and that's it? Really? That's a lot of work to get that cart for just that. <laughs> Because you're going to grab the cart and go grab the other ten nails, right? Probably. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's just how we roll in Ostrov. Okay, so you have brought in some fish. You have more than the 50 that we need. In order to start drying, you have the fish and the salt. So I'm curious to see when you are done with your one week rest to come and actually do something with that. So we'll see how that works. Did you hire? You did. Now we can start taking down trees. Where are you guys? You are going to work and you are visiting a chapel. You're not going to be working for a while. All right. We'll hire a third person so that maybe two will be there at a time. Otherwise, you're going to sit there and, I don't know, make some firewood or something. Yeah, you just grabbed a log to go over here. So it doesn't actually show the animation of them doing anything with that log. Or you just went out there and I'm curious about that. You are inside waiting for partner to help because you are starting to go to work. Okay. I didn't know if we actually saw them working on these or not. I've never stopped to find out. And whenever I do think of it, it's not a thing. Okay, you're going to go through. Yep, I forced you guys to make a nice little trail through here. Fenced you all in. You're going to have no choice but to obey my roads. <laughs> anyway, building the well. So we're going to water down here for these houses right off the bat. And it will eventually start to fill in with water as the aquifer stocks the well. Um, I suppose... Well... 
Do you have a warning that you're too far away from markets? Not that I can see. Okay. Just wonder if we need to get some basics down here right off the bat. What would that be? Um, well, what do you suggest? You suggest the closest things are fish and potato. Now, is it because you are too far away from here? And so won't even think about it. That might be the thing. Okay. Then I guess we are going to have to kick this in a little bit sooner than I had wanted. So we're going to have a pathway that takes off at least here. That may change as these find new homes and something else fills in down here. Eventually, the road may work straight across to the bridge and then straight up. Like so. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out where I would want to place another. And I'm going to slow down because there's supposedly a harvest going on. I want to see that happening. Um, the small granary. So we have a big granary. I've been using that as a place to store our production versus what comes out of the of these yards. And actually, if I think about it, I'm going to have just as many things available out of these yards as I'm going to have out of all those yards. So in that sense, I guess I could just kind of duplicate what we got going on up there, and it would make sense. Okay. Then... Um... That one. Do I want a pathway out here? I probably do. So, road. Let's assume the road is heading down. So let's angle more like so. And off the path a little bit. Yep, we can put trees and bushes and whatnot in front of them. So we'll kick it down a little further. Gives us more flexibility later. So, shift and hold. Put you in. Two of you guys next to each other, I think it looks pretty good. Um, is there a reason for a space in between? I don't think so, but I am thinking that a cart parking down here might be wise. We have you. Are you enough to do everything we need down in this area? I guess you are for now. I could put a nice one right there. Would it fit? Or is my slope too much? That is quite a slope right there. You, cart parking, oh, no, you do like it. You do. Alright, let's just set you, but I'll leave you there. I'll move you up here to be one of the next ones built. And did my supplies go away? They did. So let's pop a house in real quick, then we'll go check the harvest. So, you, F, you drop in like so. Lock you in. Grab you, move you over a little bit, and it needs to be inside. I always that always catches me because it's if what's happening is up there, the uh, the entrance to the house. I'm well inside the fences, but it snags just a little bit up in there, and that's a problem. All right, so you're gonna be there, and we'll put you in the middle. There's plenty of room to get all the way around. So enter you, and let's move you in right into there. So these three and this guy. Yeah, you're there. Gets built next. All right. So what's happening in here? Are you still... We just finished ripening. We have begun the harvest. We have. And there's all the slots available. And as of the last harvest, it was year three, and we had all these little fields, and they still managed to get done, even with just the one worker did, did fine getting our, our three fields, because two were fallow. But we have a little different situation right now. Now we have one worker and one laborer. And that's it. So I think we're going to need to artificially... Well, for now, let's go ahead and do it. We'll follow the rules. And we'll say in August, though it's probably going to go into September. Let's do August and September. I may have to alter that. But they proved very valuable last time by, no, let's just call it September, by also filling in all of the firewood in all of the, the uh, charcoal piles, and they, they did a lot of other work. But there are so many houses to build. All right, so let's just do August, March and August for you guys. Later, as these houses fill in, 
and we get much more of a labor force, we won't need to even, maybe even touch them at all. Maybe leave them just building all year long and let all the other laborers do do the, uh, the harvesting and the sowing. But this year is different. We have a lot more jobs and we have people to fill the jobs, which means we have a lot more buildings built. We have a lot more variety to see. You guys have seen more. We didn't see the chickens show up, but we have chickens now and we have some babies that are already formed. And we have no chicken meat because all the time I've been gabbing, these guys have already been buying chicken meat and eggs. I think uh, the uh, Prolipco family <laughs> got in line first and just bought everything. <laughs> Three of the five are right there. And look how quickly the chicken meat has rotted. Wow. That is a very low threshold. Wow. These things go bad quickly. Of course, we don't have refrigeration at this point. So meats probably don't last very long. Yeah. There were ways to preserve eggs. So that would last a lot longer. There was a... A jar. I've seen pictures of a jar with a solution. You drop all the eggs in, and they will last for quite some time in that. I don't know what the solution is, if it's baking soda or just what it is. But, yeah, that's that surprised me. So, okay. Don't, um, don't have too many chickens being butchered all at once unless we're going to sell them. Okay. Um, so, harvesting, we are done with this field. We are going to be working on... On the next one as soon as we get everybody that I just fired to go home for a week and think really seriously they're still on their way home very seriously about working at another job one of them decided okay okay I'll get in there so I'm not gonna touch these guys let's keep dropping trees we still have quite a few to drop for our next project so this one's starting to am I in the right place now here so you're getting close Oh, they're all gone. Great. Um, so it came up in the comments that when this had the little storage problem, um, what can we hold? So we can hold 35,000. We are holding 30 at the moment, but this was running out of storage that they were no longer going to get logs. Now, I'll, I was under the impression that this was kind of exempt in that they would continue to drop logs, even because we're only calling for 18. And yet they're at 67. So they would continue so long as there are building projects in the queue that need logs taken down. That would kind of supersede any of their minimums and requirements. And I thought it also superseded the, the uh, overall supply storage capacity limit. So correct me if I'm wrong there, but I just assumed that they would just continue working even though this said no room left and thus there wasn't a need to panic and start building more warehouses and try to move everything the problem is they're they're just going to keep taking down more than i ever asked for so they're always going to keep refilling all those warehouses this one already has five thousand more planks than i've asked for and 2500 more bark than i've asked for and of course what 40 more logs than i've asked for so firewood there's, there's even more firewood than i've asked for so they don't stop at the limit that i set they just keep going and if you just keep moving into more warehouses that's just going to make more room for them to keep going eventually you'll end up with a row of warehouses full of firewood and they're still going to be making ten thousand more firewood than you've asked for so i don't know how to deal with that okay builder dudes Get off your butts, get off the benches, and get down here and start filling in the, uh, whoa. Okay, never mind, we don't need you. <laughs> All right, Balaklia. Balaklia, Balaklia has just arrived. And what does that mean for us? World map, you, what? It isn't showing. Weird. Click you, we're here. Click you, now it's here. So I guess I have to address the messenger. 
before my world map will update. I didn't know that. Okay, you are selling iron. You are selling stone. Now that's an automatic. Yes, please. We've got 580 in there, and that's going to be coming in a lot slower now that we've messed with our taxes. So, but I do want all the stone we can get. We needed another thousand. There's a big chunk of it right there. So, deal. Bring that out, please. We've got 18 more days. I slowed down. Um, iron, how are we doing? We do not have enough charcoal. Because we've had no laborers available. And because the trading post has sucked everything dry. There's 5,000 sitting down here. Yeah. Um, where are we? Right there. We're empty right there we're waiting for help to build that up uh, you we are empty okay looking for laborers so maybe we will give ourselves a shot in the arm town hall oh we hit September again no I'm not gonna do that I was gonna say let's just kick you guys out for one more month they take such a long break in between telling them to stop this job and start another one. That's just going to hurt us. Okay. Tell you what, let's instead just release from here 3,000 and keep you keep the blacksmiths up and running again. Will you highlight, please? Thank you. 3,000 instead of 5... Now let's make that 2,000. And... Yeah, so 2,000... Of that 2,000, we will sell 1,000 right now to them. So, is that a thing? No, you're selling to us, so it's not even a thing right now. Okay, so in that case, that should open up 3,000 to be taken. Am I wrong about that? These guys have nothing to do. They should automatically, by hand and by cart be running down here even if there are no laborers and grabbing charcoal so does the game need a while to update do I need to say no more charcoal I need to say no more charcoal and instantly boom let's go grab all that charcoal okay so if it's in here and we're calling for, it's even a line item they will not be able to come get it Good to know. All right. So, yeah, until we get more of a labor force, meaning an episode or two from now when we have more people, then I can start building up my reserves in here. But storing a bunch in here right now just dooms everything else. We still have plenty of nails, though, right? Uh, where are you? Nails, 1,100. So we're fine there. And metal parts, 87. So we can repair carts for quite a while. Yeah, we're fine. So, repair carts. How are we doing? You are fine. You're fine. And you're fine. So, yeah. We're good. Okay, so in that case, you are going to be leaving here soon. Was there anything else that we could sell to you? Um, 11 more days. Slow down and think. I have in stock 280 flour. We had sold flour before. You're importing stone, so that sale is long done, and this 280 really is new and available to us, right? Right there. Okay, and that has not bankrupted the town's supply. Zero, but you're getting 30 out of here right now. I can see you going to get it. So we had 30 available, and we're stocking it over here. We were. That's not a thing anymore. Okay. So... That's right. We, the only thing we have doubled up now is chicken eggs. Right there. You're in two places. And we have none. Because we are forming hatchlings at the moment. Yeah. We have plenty of shoes and plenty of clothes there. And clothes over here. Okay. We're storing the shoes over here. We have 500 in stock. We want to maintain 500. Our reserve in this building is 5,000. So we can store 5,000 in here. 
So you're not going to make any more until we've used these up. Okay, so that is a trading item we could be making use of. All right, so shoes right there. Let's bring... F See, if I bring 400 and I sell 400, then we immediately take another 400 out of the town. Let's do that. You're going to start bringing 200 at a time down. We can commit to selling 200 right now. She's going to keep making them. I think they make them at, well, maybe 50 at a time or so. There was one time I saw 70 hit all at once. Um, do you guys need shoes? Demands. No. It is alphabetical. It's not alphabetical. Um, so what is it then? It's not by quantity. It's just random. <laughs> okay. You are not buying shoes, but we can have these in stock. You are buying clothes, but I don't think we've got any clothes. Let's see here. Clothes. We've got 200. We are ahead of the curve now. People have bought everything, filled up their houses, and there's no longer a rush for it. Okay. In that case, let's bring 200 clothes down. And we'll keep filling in the blanks there. Okay. So 200 of you. And so we have 200 to sell. Um, we don't have the laborers to go and get them. What are you guys doing? You're grabbing probably the shoes. And you are going to work. So as soon as you get there. Let's speed you up just a little bit. Boom. Okay. You are on your way to get clothes. 200. You're grabbing a cart to do it. So we should have seven days left. We should have time to get clothes demands, clothes in, all 200 of them. All right, work my way through the logic of all of this deal. So we're going to sell the 200. It'll be a while before we stock another 200 because that's all of the supplies. But we're not really bankrupting the town because it's in those markets, market stalls. And by now, everyone's had a chance to buy them. Okay, so clothes are fine. Textile. I don't want to sell textile. I'd rather get two or three workers in the the tailor and get more and more clothes made rather than sell our raw material. So we're not selling textile, we're not selling leather, no more selling of metal parts. We're going to turn those into other things. And yeah, so we're going to be fine there. Flour then, what was the decision of flour? You clothes and you or not. So flour, we want to sell. Yeah, I talked about it, but I didn't do it. So flour, we've got 280 in stock. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, and we verified we do have it in the town. I didn't verify the warehouse, though. But that would be right here, and it's zero. Okay. So in that case, let's sell all 280 of that. So we're supplementing our town now with trade rather than with high taxes. So that's going to have to be our emphasis now. And that will eventually teach me what items to stock the trader with, what is in demand the most, as we start to notice it and gradually fill in these blanks. And then we got to think of the same thing for the trading dock. Yeah, which then throws another whole balancing issue in. How much is stocked in here and how much is stocked in here? And I suppose we could just bounce them back and forth if we find that we finally get enough uh, laborers in, in, in the building, in the, in, the, in the town. And then we can quickly just move stock and laborers will pop in and move down and move everything in plenty of time for that boat to get across into us. So this one, that's our closest trader. Although it takes a long time for that boat to weave back and forth through this map. So, yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. Um, so, I am I done? I, I want to speed this back up again, but I've only got six, four days left. So, is there anything else we can do here? Like, let's just shut you down for a moment and think here. So, we're not going to deal with textiles. Honey, we're into September. Where have we ended up in honey? So town storage has gone up. 
I could get honey down here, probably in time. Probably. I guess we'll find out. Let's move 200 honey down here. Where are you? You are alphabetical, right? Yeah. Right there. And let's just do 200 so we don't bankrupt the town. And we'll make that a constant. Honey is going to be... In fact, I can choose to actually buy from local producers here as well. Rather than bring it all up to there, then bring it all down. They can come down here. I've never done that before. So I don't know how that's going to screw up what we're doing over here. And then we're going to be doing it again over here. Buying from locals. So buying from locals in four, five, six places. We'll see how well that works. It'll be different if we find that a lot of these houses also are going to stock honey. But then that's not an issue. But... It might be an issue, if not. Um, so you are now also going to buy honey. Let's sell you 200 of that. Um, did I? Flower, clothes, spent. Okay. Uh, so, okay, honey, you are demands right down there. 200 of you. So we've got coming in 50, 42, and 20. 60 going out. Is there anything else that we need from them? Now, lime is going to eventually be a thing. Lime's expensive. Lime's going to be needed for the tannery, which we aren't going to be building for quite some time. Because we don't have cows yet to even think about a tannery. Or the slaughterhouse to, to make the hides from the cows. So, I don't think we need to make that investment just yet. It can sit here in the trader for a while until we need it, but I don't think I want to go there just yet. You guys, 44 more stone. Deal. Just keep it rolling. Okay. Um, are we good here? Flowers, potatoes. Town storage, 380 potatoes. But there's one more thing I've got to transport down. Can we pull that off? I don't think so. I think we have a lot of guys carrying with no laborers in the town trying to stock what we've already done. I think we need to call this one finished. Okay, and thank you very much. Turn the speed back up. All these things are gradually going to make their way down here. Thankfully, by cart, they're able to get a lot of them. And we do have carts sitting in stock. Good. And if there is a laborer up here that says, oh, I'll take that job, then although we don't have any laborers set for the granary to haul back down now where the flour is and what have you okay or the potatoes all right so with that what are we up to how are our our poor family doing so we've accumulated a little bit of wealth we've spent some of it on more more household needs so that is going to accumulate slowly but it's still staying positive just added up a little bit more okay um wandering around looking in houses we've got five as an income and we've saved up 29 five as an income saved up 47 saved up 80 so now we're going to start seeing a wealth tax which is going to kick it back down though so you got 625 coming in how do you do that you work at the town hall are you the mayor you're the mayor what's the mayor make um Let's go to Treasury. So we've got an extra wage for the manager, which the mayor probably falls into that one. That's not a dollar twenty-five difference. So managers make pretty good monies um, here. So Yaroslava ought to have a pretty good income in her household. Six twenty-five. Huh. That's only a dollar twenty-five more. Okay, yeah, yeah, two fifty and dollar twenty-five is three seventy-five. Okay, that makes sense. So we got a couple of managers. That's why some of the houses are going to have a little bit higher number. Otherwise, we may have some that have three people working in them. Whoa, monthly income fifteen. <laughs> Stop the uh, hold the presses there. Ah, we've got three boys that 
are all over 18 and they're all making an income. Wow, that's got to be a cramped little house in there. Yeah. So these guys, and something that I missed last time when I was searching, population. So we've got one people age 19. Can I click and go to you? I cannot. And we've got several that are in this range here that are able to be married. So hopefully there is a young lady somewhere that is 18 or older that when this house pops, one of those boys and she will marry and move into here. So I expected there to be a lot more people moving, you know, you know, couples forming out of all of those families. There should be some that are at marrying age. So that's probably what's going to happen here. Now the put on hold, as soon as that builds, it seems to give you at least a little bit of time to get over there quickly and hit put on hold. Or I guess you could do it while it's building. Yeah. And then it wouldn't let anybody move into it. And then you could evict somebody if you wanted to. I want the mayor to live in a house over here now. So I'll put that on hold. And then I'm going to tell the mayor to propose relocation. And I think it'll say which house and you click on it or something like that. So that's a way to move people around should you need to. But right now we don't have that need. So I'll be curious to see what happens when that hits. Where am I at right now? Um, where is it? 40 some minutes. Okay. So I am good to keep blabbering on for a while. <laughs> so we've got chickens. We have... So hatchlings of 15, which means these are going to grow up. And as they grow up, they're going to fill in the 15 here. Meaning there's going to be more than 15. And they're going to then be butchered. Otherwise, eggs beyond this point will be sold. So how are we starting to go as far as eggs? We don't really have a place to store those yet, do we? We've got seven stored in the chicken coop. Otherwise, we've got, let's see, chicken coop of 5,000. We're, we're only using 300 and some of our storage. We could move eggs into here somewhere if we chose to. I haven't already manually done that now. And I don't think it's really needed. I think we're going to go from here to the market stalls just fine without having to run everything over to then run back to whichever market stall it is. Which I do, I am aware of. I want to make sure not to have too many extra steps involved. So if we don't need to store it, then let's not store it. It's convenient to store the wheat over here because then these guys can just walk over and get it. Or even the labor if I choose to. So that's a thing. We're going to be storing... We're going to need our sunflower over here. So that is a thing on this side. So let's go ahead and set that in place. Sunflower is going to be over here instead. We'll say, I have no idea how much it's going to take. We'll say 5,000 just to lock in a number. And house completed, good. And then we will pull Sunflower out of here. So this 600 and something is going to move over. And eventually this very good sized field over here is going to have Sunflower. What are you guys doing? There's 16 trees left. Okay. So over here... We're going to hemp next, then we're going to fallow. We're going to wheat next, we're going to fallow. We're going to potato next, then we're going to fallow. And we're going to sunflower next. Okay. Um, all of our hay is in place. Got our house in. It's in that holding pattern. Should we want to put the brakes on and not let anybody move in? Otherwise, after a timer, I'm guessing, someone's going to move into the town because all of our requirements have been met. And this should give us the ability to fill a market stall. So let's... Can I... Nothing else will add to this. Let's go ahead and add a worker. We'll turn off laborers. Uh, here... And a worker by cart, should that be needed. And eventually that's going to fill in if that family is settling in. So we don't have a marriable couple yet. But you guys are moving in. A couple of kids and lots of supplies of your own. And I did, I, that's the one that I set. So we'll work from here and I guess, I don't know, 
we'll go clockwise or counterclockwise or, or random. Um, so you are next. They're already bringing supplies over, which is going to allow us to get our food variety down here. Otherwise, these guys have plenty of food variety for the time being because they just moved in and they brought their, their current needs with them. How did we do here now? We did not get enough people to fish and to start drying uh, drying fish so we don't have that extra bar there and drying our 50 fish yet okay so we're hauling the fish away to uh, go into the stalls so as we get more workers here we should be able to get this guy functioning properly boats are well we got one that is lagging behind but it'll be next year before that's needed so I don't need to fill it in all right so we just got a new person and yeah the world map will not populate until I acknowledge the messenger okay now I can see him all right so chickens hemp what do we have in the town nothing so are we using hemp faster than we can make it here we have we brought in flax this time we have 300 oh well we're threshing it and that is done by our one worker who's visiting a chapel right now. So what does that do for them? You know, I, I wonder, no. I wonder if that was the fourth bar here that, because I thought that I had seen more in this list long ago, probably Alpha One when I was playing this before, but I thought there were five lines here. So I wondered if visiting a chapel was religion one of five kind of a thing, but no, it didn't fill that in like that. Education where you work and your clothes warm clothes and shoe quality okay so there's no sense of a happiness bar there's a health bar um let's slow down here and just explore some more do we have a sense of religion here you are a chapel there you are. Allow citizens to fulfill their religious needs, but I don't get the sense of what their needs are. Build at least one chapel is re required to go beyond 100 citizens. Are you the chapel? You are the chapel, right? Yeah. So to go beyond 100 citizens, you need the chapel. I believe it's, what, the tavern that you need to get beyond 200? Let's pull down here. I know the church is also in there. Tavern... You need to get beyond 200. And then the church, you need to get beyond 300. And I don't know if there is a, a requirement beyond that point. Those are the three buildings that I'm aware of right now. But so the chapel gets us beyond the 100 mark. We're at 77 now. It gets us all the way up to the 200 mark where we need the tavern. Which then we need to be growing, I'm going to say, is, is hops a thing? I'm trying to remember now. Uh, in place of flax. So maybe we add a barley to make our alcohol. There is a crop that is used for alcohol, which then goes into the distillery and what have you. So I'm pretty sure that is a thing. I've... I've played so many of these different town building city building games distillery is a thing right distillery brewery produces beer from barley and hops oh that's right hops is its own little thing like the orchard that's why you're not a crop other games hops will be in with the crops okay so we can I wonder if anybody ever says, hey, you got any hops for sale? Could we be making hops early? I don't think so. I've never noticed it. In fact, I don't really notice any plants like that. Just the... Well, we do have sunflowers, but sunflower oil, definitely. Yeah. So anything that's green like that, I don't think... I haven't seen the ability to sell carrots or anything that doesn't preserve. I'm not seeing the ability to sell it. So honey does. Anyway, I was in the middle of trying to decide what when I hit my 14th rabbit trail. Um, 
I have no idea. Okay. Oh, I was verifying there's nothing that we needed from Marefa. Okay. So, warm clothes. Actually, warm clothes is a thing. We went through all of that. So, let's do that again. Where are we at? 13 days left. 400. Although, all the things we just sold have not hit yet. Have they? Wait a minute here. So, did we sell the various things? Are they still on their way in? All those old trades. Did we miss them? I'm not hearing any carts in the woods. Am I low enough? So, all those things that we sold to... What is it? Balaklia? Got to see the thing in Balaklia. Did that happen? Is there any way to look at a history? Slow... Actually, pause. I want to know what's going on here. Message log. Okay. Earned. There we go. So we spent 60 for stone. We earned 50 for cloth. Clothes. We earned 42 for flour. 20 for honey. Four more on stone. And yet we've really gone downhill here. Huh. Okay. Um, do we still have charcoal in here? We don't. They, they scooped that right up, didn't they? Let's put charcoal back in, but in a smaller quantity at this point. Uh, only available charcoal. We'll say 2,000 this time. Instead of... Um, and can I click and see? Instead of the 5,000, will you guys buy charcoal? You will not. No, I'm not just missing it. It's not there. Okay, so that's not a thing anyway. We are running out of money. I'm not used to that. So we need to find even more things to sell. Dried fish we don't have. We're not making our sunflower oil yet. So maybe it's time to kick that up in the list. Get that going. Um, flour, we could sell a little more flour. We've been we managed to bring another 120 down. So let's get that going. Sell you and thank you. Um, chicken eggs, is that going to be a thing? It's not for quite some time. We're buying them as fast, and that's fine. We're, we're, we're providing our own income that way. Um, horseshoe, salt, iron, metal parts, flax. Lime, dried fish, sunflowers, yeah, that's all we can sell. And there's nothing more that we need except for the warm clothes, which I'm now hesitant to buy, but I want to make sure that we have got enough warm clothes for our peoples. Is there a way to see our people? In Banished, you could hit the, the comma and period and cycle through everybody. Boom, 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 and just keep working your way through and watch this guy without having to go find the next person and do it that way. So, is it possible? Is, I, if you know of a way to cycle through your population, let me know. I can't think of a way off the top of my head that I've ever seen in this game. But if there was a way to hotkey your way through them, I'd love to know without having to, you know go search everybody down house by house and clicking to see are we really hurting for warm clothes or not let's while it's available let's go ahead and order just 50 and we'll see how that goes i think we ordered 50 last time too um did we run you out no you're not showing up here anymore why you're not showing up over here anymore okay so i do want to buy some of your warm clothes not many 50 is going to cost us 20. And I think last time I said, oh, that's really not mu that much. Okay, let's do 100. I think that's what I did last time too. Which is why that place sold 100. Warm clothes, 100 last year. Okay. So that then is a quantity of sold items, not a... We, we got 200 gold out of that one. But, you know, two apiece. Okay, we'll verify that when this other hundred all sells out really quickly. 
Okay then, so that is all that we would need to buy from you guys. Textile wheat. We were buying wheat to sell the honey. We've got 12 days left. Let's think about that. Uh, we were buying wheat to sell the flour. I, I said honey, didn't I? So you guys are working at it as fast as you can. We've got 600 wheat in stock there. We've got another 200 there. We are actually going through it pretty fast. We are. Over here, we've got another 400. And everything that we buy, we then can resell at a higher price. So, okay, we will do a little more wheat as well. Let's get another... If I were to buy a 1,000, that'd be another 100. Ooh. But it does convert back into a sale. So, as painful as that is, let's spend another 100 for the potential of making another 150 deal okay so we have just spent 140 there's just 18 coming in yeah marifa makes out like a bandit for from us you are building you kick our speed back up all of our deadlines have been met we need to be making sunflower oil i really do more so than the other chickens more so than the slaughterhouse and tannery so you uh, technically are the next one to go in and we do have enough manpower to get one person in here so yeah let's move you up boy where are you let me think about that what do you look like oil factory right there so we'll kick you into Right there. We'll get another house going down there. And then we'll get the oil going. And that should help out. So with what we have right now, do we have any firewood being filled in? There's 2,800 there. You have already run through and, and completed again. Good. So that means everything is up and running once more. Yep, you've got 2,500 firewood. Or charcoal. You have got 1,000 charcoal you are filling up again so there there is the odd laborer now kind of floating around to get things going yeah so we're we're gonna be okay have patience it'll happen um one laborer is working over there good so three guys are down here they're taking out logs three guys are over here they're taking out logs and we're getting into the end of November, and I'm going to have to go through and kind of rebalance all of these seasonal hiring things now that we're going to have a little more laborers available to us. So that changes some of the rules on me. I'll probably do that off camera. We're in that hour mark again, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, let's call this one done. Did get quite a bit done. Got a lot of... Got a lot of logic and reasoning done, especially those taxes. And let's check in on our poor family one more time. I'll call them the poor family, but they're actually the 17 wealth. Look at that. Okay, we're they're doing better than I expected. Let's put it that way. I thought I'd be at five or six. So they've had a little bit of a windfall, which means I may have given back a little too much. I want to find that balance point. So let's kick you back. We went down to 50 cents. Let's kick you back to a dollar per a certain amount of land. So that's going to be more than a dollar for different ones who have more land. But let's double that. See if they still continue to increase slowly. But at a slower rate than they were. They increased pretty fast that time. And we'll stop the flow of bleeding out our own treasury a little bit there, too. Got to find that balance point to where they win and we win. Without having to min-max every last little piece of bag of flour in order to keep ourselves alive. <laughs> and again, that will all change as we get more people coming in. Yeah. Okay. Call this one done here. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.